To mark its grand opening, Shot Solar is throwing a party in the middle of the desert. Even early in the morning, the sun is already beating down. And that's as it should be at the inauguration of a solar module manufacturing plant. The guests include solar energy experts, business people, and politicians, including the governor of New Mexico, Bill Richardson. He's the only Hispanic governor of a U.S. state, and he threw his support behind Barack Obama during the presidential campaign. I'm happy, I'm ecstatic. New Mexico has landed the premier, the premier solar manufacturing company in the world. Right here. He hails Schott as a pioneer in the field of renewable energy. It means that we're moving fast towards becoming more green conscious, but the investment is huge for us because it sends a message to other solar companies. If the number one solar manufacturing company, Shot, comes to New Mexico, then many others will come. So it's not just the benefit of the prestige of solar, but the fact that many others will follow because they know if Shot is investing in New Mexico, something good must be happening. New Mexico, home to many Navajo and various other Native American peoples, wants to be in the vanguard of America's burgeoning clean industry movement. Schott has invested over $100 million in the new plant, which will produce solar cells known as photovoltaic modules. Every year, it's expected to produce enough solar cells to generate 85 megawatts of energy. That's enough for 13,000 homes. Martin Hemming heads up Schott Solar, and he's confident that renewable energies are set to become big business in the United States. We decided to enter the U.S. market last year with photovoltaics and components for solar thermal power plants. We plan to build up production there and expand because we believe the next few years will see the U.S. market become the world's leading market for photovoltaics and solar energy. In parts of California, solar energy is already competitive. In New Mexico, the sun shines on more than 300 days a year. Thanks to state subsidies, the significance of solar power is fast gaining ground. Regional energy providers are increasingly interested in buying energy from private solar energy companies and feeding it into the power grid. But Schott Solar is one step ahead. It also manufactures receivers for solar thermal power plants. These components convert solar energy into steam, which is then stored in tanks and used to drive turbines that will produce electricity. A shot receiver consists of a specially coated absorber tube embedded in an evacuated glass envelope. The glass to metal ceiling and the bellow, necessary to compensate the different expansion of glass and metal, are not arranged in succession, as is common, but on top of each other. This means that about 96% of the receiver's length is actually used, around 2% more than with competitors' products. The absorbed solar radiation warms up the heat transfer fluid flowing through the absorber tube to almost 400 degrees Celsius. This creates steam and the steam powers a conventional steam turbine. Schott's expertise lies in the fact that it's the world's leading special glass manufacturer. We've developed a glass that is precisely adapted to the thermomechanic properties of the steel tube. That means that the two materials, which are very different, can work in sync regardless of changes in temperature. 400 degrees during operation, room temperature at night. There's no problem there, and that means the receiver remains efficient for a very long time, decades. Schott was founded 125 years ago. This sort of groundbreaking technology means that the company is still a pioneer in its field. No wonder New Mexico is giving it such a warm welcome.